Okay, ladies, we all know that a great wig can be a girl's best friend. It can help you switch up your style, enhance what you've already got going on, and of course, leave you feeling fabulous. But wearing wigs also requires some care and knowledge to make sure you're doing it right. So today, we're gonna help you navigate your wig journey. This is Wig Talk 101. Joining us with tips on how to make your wig look styled and snatched is beauty influencer and the Wig Fist brand ambassador, Miriam. Hey, Miriam. Hi, guys. Hey. Hello. Hi, <laughs> thank you Miriam. for joining us. Welcome to the show. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, now, thank let's you start so much for basics. having me. Of course. Oh, I love the accent. Um, let's start off with the basics. What advice would you give to someone that's new to wearing wigs? Definitely, you want to like look around first, you know, when you start having a new hairstyle, you want to get into new wigs, you want to find some different colours, try and see what suits you best. And you kind of want to give your time to um, break into the wigs because it's completely different if you're so natural, you know. Um, some wigs don't suit certain um, wig faces, your face shape and others do. So you want to definitely take your time and try and find one that blends well with your hair as well. OK, so what about synthetic versus human hair wigs? What's the difference? So with synthetic and human hair wigs, so what I tend to always find is that you're always going to um, question whether you want cost or you want quality. And I have my two wigs here. Um, this is my human hair wig and this one is my synthetic one. And with synthetic wigs, so this one, what I do tend to find is that you don't get to be as flexible as you would be with your human hair wig. So with this wig, you are able to dye it, you know, you can put some heat on it and you just are a little, just so much more flexible with it, you know, because it's human hair and I do tend to find with human hair wigs you you spend well you know you're going to get a long time with that wig as well and you know you can do more to it than you would with your you know synthetic hair wig now after you found the right wig for yourself what is next I think this is really important is you have to make sure your natural hair has been taken care of. So you want to do this so that it just prevents your hair from breaking. So you want to give it a lot of nutrients and get it ready for gluing and laying down. Okay, help the people out there. How can you tuck or lay down that hair so it ain't sticking up under that wig? First things first, it's definitely braiding. I love braiding my natural hair underneath my wigs. I feel like it lays better and it just looks so much smoother, you know. Um, you can use a hairband if you want to. You can even do um, like a two braided plait. You can put your ponytail at the back and you can even use mm. a wig cap as well. So those are the best things I find. And I also would say don't ever wet your natural hair before you lay your wig down because that one is a commotion on its own. <laughs> Right, right. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, thank you. So now when it comes to making your wig look good, what do you think is the most important tip? Oh, definitely trying to make your wig look as natural as possible. So that could be as natural mm -hmm. for the hairline or even the parting. Those are two things I definitely feel like are important for keeping it natural, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, aren't there actually certain wigs specifically designed for that to give that natural look? I've even seen some with baby hairs. That baby hair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, <laughs> um, definitely like the lace frontal wigs and your lace front wigs. So for me, this is one of my synthetic lace front wigs. And for mm -hmm. this, I definitely say you want to use tweezers to do that. You want to bleach your knots. And I always use these tweezers when doing my hair and do my wigs. And I find that by doing that, you can create a natural hairline but also you can kind of create a little bit of a messy part in so it does look a lot more natural oh wow okay so <laughs> i know many women uh, their big concern is keeping the wig secure in place in case there's a wind in case there's anything yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're keeping it in place. It's like when you have your wig secured, you feel so much more com like comfortable. You feel confident and you can be a little bit more freestyle with it. Um, I do say like you have to be careful when gluing it down though because um, I had a really bad moment where I ended up getting hyperpigmentation on my head for the fact that I was rubbing alcohol on it. And I just knew that, yep, yeah, it's time for a change. Wow. Yeah. So then what did you do? So I made the decision to do the big chop, the best thing I could have done. I'm so proud of myself and I'm so happy with the result. And because I love wearing wigs, I still wanted to wear wigs. So I was able to find this amazing product called the Wig Fix over here. 
and basically it's a game changer it's a silicone based headband and you, you apply it on your um, head where you'd want your hairline to start just like so and oh, it's wow. so lightweight and it literally secures the wig it's very easy to take off as well and literally it doesn't move um, I love the fact that it aids hair growth as well so I don't know if you guys can see the silicone bit here the little dots wow. and when you have that on it actually is stimulating the hairline so at the end of the night just rub that area and yeah it's stimulating your growth so super super happy about it Wow, wow, that's really Genius. interesting. No more and glue. So does it stay? <laughs> it stays no. hidden under the wig, right? Yes, it stays hidden underneath the wig. Wow. It's so undetectable it and move. it feels so secure. Feels yeah, does not move at all. So I absolutely am here for it. It's an amazing product. All right, well, we want you, our real fam at home, to look snatched in your wig. So head on over to thereal.com for your chance to win your very own The Wig Fix. Miriam, thank you so much for stopping by and sharing your wig wisdom.